you have begun because of the virus. So now we're going to have the Nadine to come and extend for the visitors. And after then, Carla will come with the sick list and also the announcement will be in there on the report to come up after then. Amen. Well, good morning. Good morning. Uh, just looking around, don't look like we have any visitor, so I just must say, oh, well, we're so glad to have you. <laughs> <laughs> So it'll be something good for you to listen to. Amen. Amen. Uh, it's a Sunday school lesson. It'll be a Sunday school lesson for next Sunday. But he does it on Thursdays. And if you are uh, a Facebook um, person, you'll get the notes from the Bible study on Facebook as well. Amen. Amen. And uh, please also be advised that once later today, we'll have. This uh, our broadcast uploaded on YouTube yeah. and is being recorded live, Facebook live as we speak. Amen. Amen. Um, we have a thank you card for uh, Sister Mildred Wesley, Wesley and family. Just the right thing, just the right time, just the right way to say thank you. Uh, she says, um, thank you for the help of my grandchild, Lavelle Wesley. Love you. Amen. Amen. Our sick and shut-in list, please keep it in prayer. Our motherboard, amen. amen. Keep it in prayer. Our ushers, uh, Brother Alexander, who has not been in worship service in a while, please uh, keep our community. Uh, and if you have someone you need to be added to the prayer list, please contact me. Amen. 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 Let's say amen again. Amen. If you are a visitor at New Salem and Darlene gives that welcome, don't you feel welcome? Amen. 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 She does an excellent job. Amen. She does just what our scriptures tell us to do today. And it says, make a joyful noise. Amen. Yes, a joyful noise to the Lord. Uh -huh. All you land, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Mm -hmm. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. Yeah. We are his people and sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving yeah. mm -hmm. and into his courts with yeah. praise. Yeah. Be yeah. thankful. Yeah. Be thankful unto him yeah. and bless his name. For the Lord is good. <laughs> For the Lord is good. Yes. Yes. His mercy is everlasting. Yes. And it's true. Endure. Endure. God has a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing this word. Amen. 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 Because God is good. Yes, He is. Yes, he is. And He is long suffering. Amen. He is patient. Amen. And He's worthy to be praised. Yes. Realize now that this is prayer. Mm -hmm. The prayer is the key to the kingdom. Prayer is successful. And it's something that we can never get through. We can never get through praying because there's something in the kingdom of our need. If you believe in God, I'm a living witness. 
Our Father, here I am once again. Come this day to thank you. We come to pay you this day to thank you, Father, that you have done so much for me. I can't pay you, but I can tell you thank you. One day you thank you last night, while a million people was pacing up and down the trees all night long. But you dispatched your angel all around my house. And there this morning, you touched me with a willing mind oh, and a potion of my health. Thank you. That's, that's enough to say thank you again. Thank you, thank you for traveling grace. Realize from now that we all need you, but some need you worse than others. There's some that's on the prayer list that come and got to read it. But even to that goes further, there's somebody that we don't even know that needs this more. Yes, God. And then Master, that even if we know, it's nothing that we can do but say mercy. But then Master, that you have the healing hand. And then that you have the power to do in and everything but fail. And she master to look upon our congregation, look upon our pastor, look upon his his family and Throw your strong arms of protection around him. As you look upon every member and join us together collectively, where one cannot fall without the other. And then, Master, as you look into the hospital and the nursing home and some in the comfort of their own home. Oh, Master, that we need you now like we never needed you before. Realize, Master, when we talk about the virus, that you're the only one that you've been a on. And we pray, Master, that you would put your cap on. Knowing now that you are able to throw your strong arms of protection around them. Yeah. Oh, Master, when I look, I know that you are able because I read it other day. What you did and what you will do. And Master, that I'm leaning and I'm dependent. And knowing, Master, that you're the same God with the same yes, power. Yeah. Knowing, Master, that you spoke and the world came into existence. I read the other day where that you even healed the lame and raised the dead. Oh, Master, I know that you're able, and I stretch my hand to you to no other help I know. Oh, Master, but here I'm standing knowing that I need you, and I cannot live without you. But then I'm going to tell you thank you for looking beyond my faults to see my need. Just telling you thank you for traveling grace this morning. Just telling you thank you, Master, for everything that you have done for me. I can't tell you enough, but I sure enough still can tell you thank you. Ask your master to look upon us. Ask you to come in today and let the Holy Spirit ride from the front to the back. And then, Master, we will leave him ride with us. Praying, Master, that our home will be, be intact when we get back like it was. But we leave it in your hand because we know that you are able. And we're going to stand on that word because that we know that you are. And ask praying that what I pray for is in that will. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him, Christ Lord. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, Amen. 
God bless you. God bless you this day. Thank the Lord for this day. This opportunity to come and give a praise. Somebody laughed at me one time and said, Skip, you'll sing that song anytime. And I said, yes, because Christmas means Christ comes. And every time I open my eyes in the morning, <laughs> Christ is coming in. Because he watched over me all night, last night. Woke up right early this morning. What better gift can I get for Christ coming? Got another way to rise. Didn't have to wake me this morning. What a man he did. Thank God he did. God bless your heart. I'm going to need that love. I'm going to plan for it. See, you really got here. You missed me. Don't do me like that, right? We thank God for this day. For those that are here, we are praying for those that are grieving, those that are bereaved. Ambrose family today. Yes, Lord. Praying for Beard family. All those who have all who have lost loved ones. Amen. Death is not recognizing the pandemic. It's taking advantage of it. Yes, Lord. Amen. But we must remember that God is always in charge. And death can only move God's command. Yes, sir. And for those that are here, we thank God. We're back in this building. Coming one by one. Amen. We pray for the time when all are comfortable. But we do understand that many have health conditions and other reasons for not being in the building yet. Yes, sir. But that's all right. We're going to praise God anyhow. Yes, Amen. Because truly God is in this place. Truly the Lord has been good. Now, I'm not going to try to keep you long. We've got some other things we got to get done today. But uh, we're going to give the Lord his time. I want to look at Daniel chapter 5. Yes, sir. I want to tie it into Isaiah 49. Amen. I'm, I'm going to look at a familiar scripture and tie it into an unfamiliar scripture. That broke real. I'm drunk. When I get tired, I'm going to tag you. So, you got me? All right, I believe. Amen. <laughs> See, if I get tired, I can tag you, y'all. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. That's all right, huh? I got tagged in this gospel ministry and I was trying to avoid the tag. Yes, Amen. Yes, I didn't think, I never would have thought. Amen. This is what I'll be doing on Sundays during the week. God is an amazing God that he can take yes. a rest like me. Yes. Mm. Amen. Daniel yes. chapter 5, when you have it, say amen. 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 If you still serve, say Lord, help. I want to look at the first five verses. Daniel chapter 5. This is a familiar scripture to you Bible scholars. Yeah. The word says, Belshazzar the king Jesus. made a great feast to a thousand, not that's a big party, y'all, to a thousand of his lords and drank wine before the thousand. They had a good time. Yeah. Belshazzar, while he tasted the wine, commanded to bring the gold and silver vessels which his father Nebuchadnezzar had taken out of the temple, which was in Jerusalem. Yes, that the king and his princes and his wives and his concubines, he had all his women down, Woo! might drink that in. <laughs> then they brought the golden vessels that were taken out of the temple of the house of God, which was in Jerusalem. And the king and his princes and his wives and his concubines drank in them. Everybody got something to drink. And they drank wine and praised the gods of gold and of silver and of brass and of iron and of wood and of stone. And in the same hour came forth fingers of a man's hand Amen. and wrote over against the candlestick upon the plaster of the wall of the king's palace. And the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. That same hour came forth fingers of a man's hand and rolled over against the candlestick upon the plaster of the wall of the king's palace. And the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. Mm -hmm. Now, Isaiah 49, I want to look at verse 15 and 16. Yes, sir. Word of God says this. Can a woman forget her sucking child? Mm -hmm. 
that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb. Yea, they may forget, yet I will not forget. Behold, I have graven thee upon the palm of my hand. Thy walls are continually before me. God's word for God's people. For a few moments today, I want to deal with the thought he didn't see the whole hand. He didn't see the whole hand. He didn't see the whole. He didn't see the whole hand. Watch this. Most animals, though they look different, have the same basic anatomical parts. They have heads and hearts and eyes and ears and necks and noses in some shape, form, or fashion. They got something to see with, something to breathe with, and something to eat with. Are y'all here with me? Most of them have arms and legs and paws and feet. Amen. Some of them have fins and wings. But only a few of them have hands. Out of all the animals that God created, only the primates, and there are 233 classes, they're the only creatures under the sun that have hands. Do y'all hear me? Primates stand upright. They have well-developed brains. And when primates mate, they mate for life. They're not like dogs who season to season. They a primate mate for life, or they used to. Are y'all uh oh? <laughs> but the primate is the highest order mm-hmm. of God's creation. Mm-hmm. Amen. Especially man. Man was the crowning glory of God's creation. Mm-hmm. Their erect walk, having brains and hands, represent the most significant part of their creative order and status. Are you all with me? In other words, God made them something special. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hands allow primates, especially humans, to be able to grasp things and hold on to things that other animals with claws and paws can't do. Mm-hmm. Amen. There is no chicken that's able to use a knife and a fork. <laughs> are you all, are, 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 are you all, are you all, the chicken may be proper, but they can't use a knife, huh? In a fork. Help, 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 help me, help somebody. No, sir. We have not only hands to grasp, but we also have minds to grasp and retain things mentally. Yes, sir. And the hands grasp and retain things physically. Yes, sir. Are y'all here with me? I'll be for a minute. Yes, sir. Hands are designed to carry out physical tasks. Oh, and the mind. Mental task. Yes, sir. And so the hands carry out physically what the mind developed mentally. I need, I need some help in here. I need some help here. And watch this. So, so uh, uh, human hand is a vehicle that executes the power of the mind. It's one thing to think something, but it never comes to reality until you can do it. And in order to do it, every mind needs some hands. You all stay woke there for a little while. But now, to be able to think and not be able to do means you're entering what's called a vegetative state. That's when your body is giving out and your mind is still sharp and all you do is just lay there. Are you all here with me? But watching a man's hand will tell you a lot about that man's intentions. Yes, sir. Help me here. Yeah. The hand is compromised of fingers that grasp. Mm-hmm. Pick up your fingers. Yeah. But your fingers get tired quick. Mm-hmm. So it takes a palm to retain. Yes, sir. That's why they didn't nail Jesus in his fingers. Right. They nailed him in the palm of his hand. I need a little help here this morning. Fingers can pick up, but they can't hold for long. Mm-hmm. So to make the fingers viable, you need a palm to be able to save the hole what the fingers picked up. Yeah. Hands play a vital part in our feeding, in our leading, in our directing, and in our helping. Are y'all hear me? Yeah. Choir director need hands. Yeah. Safe patrol God need crossing God need. Hand. Are y'all, are y'all here with me? And when mom and dad want me to understand what they were saying, they point. Help me, somebody. Information, especially written word, 
is transferred by the hand. You can't write without a hand. Yeah. The Bible says God made man in his own image yeah. and his likeness. Mm -hmm. Are you healed me? Yeah. Everything God made, he spoke into existence. Yeah. But he didn't design the wind to look like him. Uh -huh. He designed the sun, the moon, and the stars to look like him. Yeah. He didn't, didn't design the water and the clouds to look like him. And so he spoke those things into existence. Yeah, he, did. he didn't intend for the cow, the grass, and the tree to look like him. Yeah. So he called those things out of his mouth into existence. Yeah. But when he decided he wanted to make something that looked like him, yeah. to remind him of himself, the Bible said he used his hands. Yeah. And reaching the dust of the ground and formed man with his hands. Yeah. And breathing the man nostrils, the birth of life, and man became a living soul. Yeah. Watch this. Adam's birth chamber mm -hmm. was the hand of God. Yeah. Are y'all are y'all hearing me? His birth canal was God's hands. Yeah. And so since man was made by God's hand, his hand was the first part of him. That we were exposed to. Yeah. Are you all? Are you all here with me? Yeah. And so, in order to see God in our life, we must be able to see the hand of God working in our life. Yeah. The reason most folk never see God is because they never see His hand working in their life. Yeah. Some folk are looking at our situation today, and they see God at work, but some folk think the pandemic just came. Yeah. Some folk think the free snow and ice storm just came. Yeah, yeah. But somebody understand that God is moving oh, yeah. in a special way. Yeah. And the problem is, sometimes when we see his hand, mm -hmm. we fail to see the whole hand. Oh, yeah. Are y'all here with me? Yeah. We rather focus on a finger, a fingernail or a knuckle. Are y'all here with me? Yeah. As opposed to seeing the whole hand because the whole hand represents God's big picture. Oh, yeah. The finger, the knuckle, or the finger, the other represents only one part. Yeah. And that was a mentality that Satan is stealing man back in the Garden of Eden. Yeah. Watch this. Out of all that God made, first five days of creation, God was busy making a place not for him to live. <laughs> But he was making a place for us. Yeah. First part of the sixth day, he was producing food not for him to eat, oh. but for us yeah. to eat. Yeah. On the last part of day six, he made us. Yes, sir. Put us in a place that was already prepared for us. Yeah. And then told us everything he made was good, was good and very good. Yeah. He gave us dominion over everything that was there. He said that fear you should be upon every creature. Yeah. And of every tree in the God thou mayest eat. Yeah. But that one tree in the midst of the God, mm -hmm. thou shalt not eat for the day I eat, thou shalt surely die. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. So, the, so the whole hand of God's picture was all of creation. Yeah. But Satan said, stop watching the whole hand of creation. And let's focus on the fingernail. What fingernail, say? That fingernail he told not to pick. Are y'all with me? Yeah. It's something about some of us. When we get a sore or a bump on us, we can't help but to pick. Yes, sir. <laughs> Are y'all here with me? Yeah. You know the doctor said, leave that scab alone. Yeah. But a child always gonna pick at the scab. Yeah. I, I need some help with y'all. Yeah. And so the sailor said, look past everything God told you to do that. And let's get stuck on what he told you you can't have. Yes, let's look past everything God told you could do. And let's have a conversation on what he told you you couldn't do. And despite all God gave you, despite all the things he put on your hand, I believe God trying to make a fool out of you. Because he knows if he eat the tree he told you not to, you'll be a God just like him. Ain't God all right? I remember when I was a child, when my daddy told me no. I said, I can't wait until I get grown. I'm going to get my own house. I'm going to buy my own car. I'm going to live my own life and go where I want to go. 
But when I got grown uh, and I left my daddy's house, uh, I ran in a man uh, and his name was Bill. Y'all don't hear me? And everywhere I went, I met Bill. Uh, when I got in my house, I met Bill. Uh, when I bought my car, I met Bill. Uh, when I went to buy grocery, I met Bill. Uh, when I went to buy gas, I met Bill. Uh,
Bill Shaler had a party, <laughs> and in his party, uh, they were having a great time. <laughs> Y'all don't hear me, uh, but he wanted to go uh, a little bit higher, <laughs> and I heard him say, go uh, into the storehouse, uh, and there you'll find uh, some things out of the dark temple uh, that my daddy took uh, when he tore down the roof. Uh, Y'all don't hear me, uh, I want you to bring them a gold uh, and bring this silver, uh, and we going to bring wine uh, out of God's stuff uh, and have a good time. Uh, and God, all right, uh, I believe uh, that the reason we're having trouble uh, like we're having right now uh, is you got too many folk uh, trying to have a good time uh, on what God gave. Uh, but what you need to understand uh, is when God blesses you, uh, it's not just for you, uh, but he wants you to use. Uh, to tell somebody uh, about the goodness of the Lord. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, and so they went at the vessel. Uh, they came in uh, and everybody uh, started drinking their wine. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, and by the time uh, they got high, Bill Shalem looked over uh, at the wall uh, and he saw the things. Uh, they were writing something uh, that he didn't understand. Uh, I know somebody here, uh, they say it was a handwriting, uh, but then I what the Bible say. Uh, the Bible say uh, all he saw uh, was the finger writing. Uh, Y'all know him uh, and the finger writing uh, in a strange way. Uh, yeah, my Lord, uh, and now, uh, just like the wall, uh, there's a strange thing uh, that's going on uh, in our life. Uh, we spent these adults uh, trying to build an army. Uh, to fight against Russia, uh, but now uh, a little bit of virus uh, that we can't see uh, has come to the land uh, and killed everybody. Uh, Y'all know him me. Uh, we think uh, that we in charge, uh, but every once in a while, uh, God will send us a trainer. Uh, he'll send us a snowstorm. Uh, he'll send a blizzard. Uh, he'll send a tsunami uh, to make us be still uh, and know that he God. Uh, That when the trainer came, uh, there was some folk uh, in Louisiana uh, that were practicing the voodoo. Uh, there was some folk uh, that were following the pay God. Uh, but when the wind started blowing uh, and the waves started dancing, uh, there was some of those folk uh, that were following the voodoo. Uh, and they followed that need. Uh, and I the Lord don't help me. Uh, I can't stand it so uh, To make you go down on your knees. Uh, Father, I stretch uh, my hand to the knees. Uh, no other help I know. Uh, ain't God alright? Uh, am I here by myself? Uh, is there anybody here? Uh, and I'm going down on your knees uh, to have a talk with you. Uh, I promise you, uh, just a little talk uh, to make everything alright. You are no story. Y'all know what's going Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Out of all them folk, I got to get out of here. Out of all those folk, in that part, out of all the wives, all the concubines, all the women, and all the servants, could nobody tell Belshazzar what those fingers were right. Yes, sir. Are you here with me? And so, Bell said to find somebody yes, sir. that knew the Lord. Mm. Ain't that something? Yes, sir. When you're really in trouble, mm. when you rode it and ran off, Woo. when all you ride to die is dead, yeah. y'all don't hear me. <laughs> when you can't find nobody That's right. to go in your stead, yeah. you got to go back and find somebody That's right. that know Jesus. Y'all hear me? Hey, see, I've said, my feet were going and my steps were well now stepping. Because I was watching them for. He said, but I made it in the same way with God and I saw them in. And y'all hear me? Sometimes you got to come back where you started. Are you all right? The songwriter said, take me back, dear Lord, to the place where I first received you. Before I got smart, before I got wise, before I started smelling myself, before I thought I got grown, Lord, take me back. 
Oh, yes. See, Bill made me want to break my father's house. Yeah. I'm going to leave y'all alone. Listen. <laughs> and so Bill said, when got Daniel, and Daniel told him to write and said, me and me to take a parson. Mm -hmm. He said, you've been weighed in the balance. Yes, sir. And you've been found lacking. Yeah. Bill said, while you were king, you've been weighing for to see who were to be your servant. Yeah. Who worthy to be your wife? Yes. Who worthy to be your brother? Mm -hmm. But why you been weighing other folk? Oh. God been weighing you. Oh, yes. I stopped by this morning and you said, Why are you weighing other folk? God weighing you. Yeah. Why are you pointing other folk faults out? God see all your faults. Oh, yeah. And so, and so that night, mm. Bell said the soul wasn't quiet. Everyone mm. mm. required mm. 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 because. He didn't see the whole hand. I know you heard the priest, the hand right on the wall. Yes. But the text that all Belshazzar saw were the fingers. Perhaps the Belshazzar had saw the whole hand. Things would have turned out differently. Yes. If he'd seen the whole hand, he might have asked God for forgiveness. Yes. If he'd seen the whole hand, he might have turned the other way. Uh -huh. But let me tell you what Belshazzar didn't see. Because he didn't see the whole hand. First of all, he didn't see the presence. You go with me? Yes, sir. He saw the fingers, yeah. but he didn't see the presence behind the fingers. Yeah. See, the hand represents the presence of somebody. Yes, sir. Hands yes. just don't come out of nowhere. Yeah. Are you all with me? And so when the hand showed up, there was a presence that was attached to the hand. Mm -hmm. But he chose to overlook the presence. To focus on those things. But y'all hear me? Yeah. Somebody said, I didn't see nobody. That's right. But my soul felt the change. Oh. And so I said, Come on in the room. I, I need to help here. <laughs> Belshazzar only saw fingers. Read the scripture now. He only saw fingers. He did not see the whole hand, which means he did not see the big picture, which means he did not see God in that room. All he could see were the spirits that they were drinking from those vessels. Yeah. But they could not see the spirit of God. Yeah. Because wherever the things of God are, his spirit will be there also. Yeah. Psalm 7 now, we see through the glass, darkly. Yeah. We see in part and we know in part. Mm -hmm. They were having a good time, so they couldn't see the big picture. Yeah. He saw in part and he knew in part. He saw in part of a hand on the fingers. And he only knew in part. He knew there were fingers. But what he didn't see was a predator that went along with the fingers. Yeah. And because of this failure, he saw joy from the wrong direction and from the wrong people. Y'all don't hear me? Because he didn't see the hand. He thought his joy was coming out of the cup that he was drinking. He thought the joy was in the wine in the cup. Ain't God all right? Were in the people uh, that were in the crowd. Uh, I got my wine, uh, I got my service, uh, I got my coffee back, uh, and I got my wife. Uh, and we're having uh, a real good time. Uh, but I want you to know uh, when you really uh, want to have a good time, uh, don't call your name, uh, you need to call Jesus. Uh, don't call the name of the uh, you need Call Christ. Uh, I wish I had somebody uh, because can't nobody uh, make me feel like Jesus. Uh, can't nobody uh, do you like the Lord. Uh, and if you want to be uh, you need to call on Jesus. Uh, for I heard David say, uh, in time of trouble, uh, he will sit me up, uh, up on the rock. Uh, and now my head, uh, he lifted above uh, all of my enemies. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, when you want to you need to go down uh, in the presence of the Lord. Uh, I heard uh, the writer say, uh, shout about heaven burn. Uh, meet the Lord of guilt and shame. Uh, then the Lord Jesus took me. Uh, and now I'm no longer ashamed. Uh, he took me. Uh, oh, he took me. Uh, he the joy uh, and flooded my soul. Uh, something happened to me. Uh, and now I know uh, that Jesus took me. Uh, Oh, uh, another writer said, uh, since I've been touched by the master, uh, my life 
God has never been saved. Ain't God all right? What a shame to be a room where the soul of God you can see and feel right up on the wall and never feel his presence. Ain't God all right? But I heard the songwriter say that the presence of the Lord is here. I can feel him in the atmosphere. Ain't God all right? And when the Lord show up, he begins to show out, and it gets all over me. He's in the front, he's in the back, he's in the side to side. He hold me, under me, and he's in and out inside. Ain't God all right? He did not. He did not see the spirit. Number two, because he didn't see the whole hand, he did not see the power. Yeah. And y'all hear me? Watch it. I'm trying to hear it. We know God that is a spirit. Yes, sir. And spirits don't have physical hands. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to the term hands that bring to God, mm -hmm. we're talking about the power wow. of God. Yeah. When Jesus said the right hand of the Father, he's in the power, the power side of his Father. Y'all hear me? Yes, sir. Watch this. God's favor is in his finger, mm. but his power is in his palm. Y'all yeah. missed that. His power. favor is in his finger, yes, sir. but his power yeah. is in his palm. Yeah. Yes, sir. See, he woke me up this morning with the finger of love, yeah. but he guides me with the palm of the power. power yeah. Y'all hear me? Yeah. See, watch this. I, I told you fingers can pick up. But they don't hold long. Mm -hmm. But power and safety means you got to be in the palm. Are y'all here with me? Y'all hear with me? Mm -hmm. hear me? Yeah. And so because Belshazzar only saw the fingers, mm -hmm. he never saw the power of God. Mm -hmm. Because he only saw the fingers, yeah. he thought he was still in control. Yeah. He thought it was his party. He thought it was his service. He thought it was his wine. He thought they were his vessels because he thought he was in charge because he only saw the fingers. And that's our problem. We want to try to run the world because we only see God's fingers and we think we own something. We think we run something. But we don't run nothing. Yes, sir. You don't know how to make your heart beat. You don't know how to go to sleep at night. You don't know how to wake yourself up. You don't even know how to breathe. How can we run something when we can't tell ourselves? Yeah. Are y'all are, are, are hearing me? Yeah. And so, he was unable to see the power of God. The true power behind the fingers because he focused only on the fingers. Yes. If we take the pandemic by itself, that's one thing. If we take the weather by itself, that's something else. But as long as we keep taking these things individually, we think we got control. Mm. Are, you, are, are, are you all hearing me? Yes. But God is bringing things upon us time after time to remind us that we are not in control. Yes, sir. And we got to see the whole hand instead of the fingers. When we see the whole hand instead of the fingers, we see the true power of God. We'll see hands that scooped out the mountains and measure water in the hem of the garment. Yeah. We'll see the power of the hand that carried Noah through the flood when it rained for the days and rain for the night. Yeah. When we see his whole hand, we'll see his hand, hand uh, that went down to the Red Sea. Yeah. <laughs> that scooped water this way and school water that way and told the water to behave and then we walk through uh, on God lane uh, when we see uh, the whole hand uh, we'll see the hand uh, that came down the road uh, on Mount Sinai uh, that began to write a rock uh, in, 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 in the rock uh, right in front of Moses uh, saying I am the Lord thy God uh, not to have no other God before me thank uh, God alright uh, when we see uh, the the whole hand of the Lord uh, was in the same hand uh, that brought down the wall uh, of Jericho uh, when he told him uh, to march around uh, six days uh, and on the seventh day uh, march around seven times uh, and on the seventh time uh, when you get around the wall uh, I want you to stop uh, 
and give me some praise. Hey, God, all right. Don't you know that power in his praise? The presence of God and the power of God in having the praise of his saints. So when you need the power, just give God the praise and the Lord will show up. It was the same hand that Ezekiel talked about in chapter 37. When I heard him say his hand, the Lord was on me and he carried me. Uh, into that uh, was that bone. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, when you put yourself uh, in God's hand, uh, he'll take the blade uh, when you didn't want to go uh, to do something uh, that you didn't want to do uh, to bring out a victory uh, that you never thought power. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, now I give back my servant uh, into the hand. Uh, that part that Paul talked about her uh, in Ephesians 3 20. Uh, and now on the heaven uh, that is able uh, to do exceeding uh, and abundantly uh, above all. Uh, I ask God, they uh, ain't God all right. Uh, I'm going to tell you, uh, it does not matter uh, what's going on in your life. Uh, the hand of God uh, has enough power uh, to do more uh, than the other thought. Uh, it's the same hand. That you wrote about her uh, and said, Now, uh, under his label, uh, to keep you from falling, uh, to prevent you from falling, uh, to go and pray with her, when you see in joy, uh, what you're saying, Jude, uh, the hand of God is able uh, to pick you up, uh, to turn you around, uh, to place your feet uh, on solid ground. Uh, thank God, all right. Uh, they tell me uh, in Jericho, uh, there was a who sat by the side, blind all of his life, couldn't see nobody, big as the straps, thank God, all right. But they tell me that one day Jesus was passing by, and thought of him said, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me, thank God, all right. I'm trying to tell you, when you call Jesus, and know who he is, the Lord will stop uh, and come see about you. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, they tell me uh, the next day, uh, my body may have run. Uh, he will leave it at night. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, and somebody said, Body may uh, when I saw you yesterday, uh, you were down by the side road, uh, big and po po. Uh, but now uh, I see you sleeping. Uh, and I and sing a little song. Uh, tell me about a man uh, what happened to you. Uh, and I hear about a man saying, uh, Ain't God all right? Uh, don't you know uh, the man from Galilee uh, called Jesus uh, laid his hand on me uh, and said, I've been judged uh, by the master. Uh, my life uh, has never been the same. Uh, Ain't God all right? I got to leave you now. Uh, but he the whole hand, uh, he did not see uh, the presence of God. Uh, he did not see uh, the power of God. Uh, and as I leave you, uh, he did not see uh, the power of God. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, in Isaiah uh, 49, uh, the Lord said, uh, Can a woman forget her uh, or suck a child uh, that she should not have compassion? Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, he said, she may forget about the child uh, on her bread, uh, but I promise you, uh, I won't forget about you, uh, no matter uh, what comes in the life, uh, I love you so much, uh, I pray your name uh, in my hand, uh, and every time uh, I look in my hand, uh, every time uh, I see my hand, uh, I see your name, uh, hey God, all right, uh, what thing I know, uh, I know I've been because they done signed my name up. And if you don't believe me, I'm being redeemed. And follow me down to the Jordan stream. I'm scared in the water. And the water was cold. And it cheered my body. But it didn't cheer my soul. And God, all right. And the Lord, all right. I'm so glad he had my name engraved. And I hear the Lord saying, uh, all my father gave me uh, are still in my hand. Uh, and no man uh, can come to mouth uh, of my father's hand. 